In this lesson, we're going to take a look at modifying object properties in the drawing. The first thing that we want to do is turn a layer off. So we're going to choose the freeze layer command and select one of the column grid lines. That's going to cause that particular layer to be frozen and all of those entities will disappear. The next thing that I want to do is isolate geometry in the drawing by turning off all other layers. So I'm going to use the isolate layer command. And the first time I use this command, I want to go into the settings area and make sure that it is currently set to turn off. Next, we simply need to select one of the, one of the entities on the inside walls and press enter and the, the layer will be isolated. You'll notice all the other entities disappear. We also notice that there's some missing geometry in this uh, retail space on the right-hand side of the drawing. So we'll use the unisolate command. And this time select that geometry. Looking at the properties palette, we can see that it is indeed on the wrong layer. We could make the change here in the Properties palette, but I wanted to demonstrate that you can also use the layer control in the Entity Properties toolbar to change the current layer of a selected object. Now, when we return to the Isolate Layer command, that geometry is already selected, and so it's going to be immediate. All of the other geometry uh, disappears as the layers are turned off. Continuing to use the isolate layer and freeze or unisolate layer, we're going to return the geometry, bring all the layers back on. Now we want to focus on this retail space in the left hand side of the drawing. Using the isolate layer command, we'll select one of those entities, press enter, and the rest of the geometry in the shopping center will be turned off. Now that we've isolated the layers, if we look at the current layer, we can see that the settings for color and line type, as well as line weight, are all by layer. However, if we select the geometry, you'll notice that the settings for color and line type vary. So we want to change that so that all the items have the same color, which is by layer. This basically means the item's color will be equal to whatever the color we set for the layer. We'll return now, unisolate the layers. This brings all of the geometry back. And now let's take a look at how we can use the match properties command to match object properties from one source object to another. So I've selected the source object and now I'm going to imply a window around the destination objects and those entities receive those properties. Moving on to the top right area or top left area of this, we're going to select this hair washing station, select the geometry there, and let's go ahead and change the color or layer for it. And we'll set this layer in the properties palette. Next, we're going to use the isolate layer command again this time selecting geometry as shown and BricsCAD will turn off all other layers. Then we're going to apply a window around this group of entities here. We want to make sure that their color is set to by layer instead of varies. And we also want to make sure that the layer is set to a specific layer and as soon as we do that and press escape, you'll notice that all of the layers or the entities disappeared it's because they were placed on a layer that was turned off. So we'll just go back and identify that layer and turn it back on and there the geometry appears. And finally, we want to demonstrate how to change the object properties. In this case, the radius of an arc can be done very easily in the quad cursor interface by right clicking on the arc, entering a new radius value, and pressing enter. This completes our lesson on modifying object properties.